Nook has released a new ecosystem of n-cubic organizers along with the new npvd30 backpack, all of which are precisely made to fit within one another and within their established hard cases. As you can see here, we've got eight bags on the table. Wait, you only see two? Well, that's because each of the n-cubic t1, 2, and 3 tech pouches, and three internal organizers, the n-cubic 13s, m, and l, seamlessly integrate with one another and with the Nook's hard cases and bags like the npvd30 and 935 we have here. Tailored for photo, video, and drone enthusiasts, these bags can be modified to fit pretty much anyone's gear. I'll go over the specific specs of all the bags a little bit later in the video, but the most important part is this n-cubic ecosystem, which all the bags are a part of. The n-cubic system provides an individualized way to protect, organize, and mobilize your gear, whether you're going on an Arctic expedition, a film shoot in the Mojave, or, like us here at BNH, braving the streets and parks of New York City. But before we head out on our New York expedition, we need to pack our bags with all the gear we need to set up, shoot, and edit remotely, and be prepared for any weather that might befall us, and probably pack a snack or two as well. As I said before, the N-Cubic system fits both the hard carrying cases and backpacks, so I'm going to pack the organizers and tech pouches in the hard case first. My gear will be super protected while I travel, and I can swap it all seamlessly for the flexibility and mobility of a backpack. The 935 hard case has a 20.5 by 11.3 by 7.5 inch interior, protected by the lightweight, crushed, dust, and waterproof polypropylene resin exterior. On its own, the case weighs just about 11.5 pounds, which for a protective case of this size is relatively lightweight. You can also get it with this nifty top organizational panel to hold a laptop, paper, and other accessories. It has a power claw latching system, automatic pressure valve, and an extendable handle with smooth rolling wheels to make traveling over any terrain easier. Inside this, I've got the 13L, which is the largest top zipper internal organizer in the N-Cubic ecosystem. It comes with removable and customizable tri-base Velcro dividers and origami bottom, is water resistant, and fits perfectly in our hard case and backpack. Now, I could very happily just pack this up with all my gear, but where's the fun in that when you can truly rig out your bag with more bags? So, inside the 13L, I'm going to fit both the 13M and S, which have the same water resistance and zippered top as the L. But the M is 12.6 by 11.4 by 5.9 inches in size. It's designed to hold and protect two camera bodies, three lenses, a GoPro, or drone, and accessories. Depending on your needs, you could also swap in some small LEDs, on-camera flashes, or whatever else you need. It also has a molded origami bottom for more configurations. For our filmic expedition, I've packed a DJI RS3 mini gimbal, a Rode shotgun mic, a handle for our camera, and the T2 tech pouch, which has an Atomos Ninja and the extra pieces and batteries for the gimbal and external monitor. Next to this, I've packed the 13S, again with top zipper access, customizable dividers, origami bottom, and a shoulder strap. Now, I am a sucker for a nice shoulder or crossbody bag, and this fits the bill. You could easily use this as your normal carry bag with a camera and a couple lenses for everyday shooting. Here, we're going to use it to hold our main C70 body with two lenses, and I also threw in the carrying strap, but I could also have an extra battery there as well. This all fits in the 11 by 6.3 by 5.5 inch case. Now, back to the T2. It measures 10.6 by 6.5 by 3.5 inches, has a whole bunch of interior mesh pockets with a zippered one in the middle and another zippered exterior pocket. It's similar to the T1 and 3, which I also have here. All three are designed to carry and protect your small tech items and accessories like SD cards, charging cords and cubes, and data storage. I brought in my own personal bag of various camera things I carry around for this just to test how much I could actually fit. What do you want? Us creative people have a lot of stuff. So, in the T1, I fit my SD card case, charger cube, various USB cables, my 4TB hard drive, a couple flash drives, an extra mouse, a lens air blower, tripod plate key, headphones, microfiber cloth, a notepad and pen, hand sanitizer, an SD card reader, and a power pack. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty pleased with this. The last thing to pack now is the backpack. Since the 13L will fit right into the backpack, I didn't need to add too many things. With the interior measuring 22.4 by 11.8 by 8.7 inches, which if you've been paying attention is almost identical to the 935 hard case, it also comes with a bunch of customizable tri-base dividers, so you can totally only use the backpack or choose any of the smaller cubic bags to fit inside as you like. Inside the bag is 360 degrees of foam pack body padding, an interior mesh pocket at the top, an exterior pocket also at the top, a zipperable pocket on one side and a gusseted pocket on the other, which is where I'm gonna stow my tripod and water bottle. Behind the pocket is where you could unzipper for easy access to a camera. By unzipping the top, you'll find the bag's rain poncho and a removable Velcro shelf, if you wanna differentiate parts of the bag for extra clothes, gear, accessories, snacks, whatnot. Finally, I found this maybe a little odd at first, but to access the full inside, you unzip the bag from the back. 
Fortunately, if you forget to fully zip it, your back will be supporting it, so your stuff hopefully won't just fall out or loosen any unsuspecting zippers. The back is also where you'll find the 16-inch laptop, tablet, and another mesh sleeve. On the outside, we've also got a supportive back with a hull handle and other accessory straps. The solid backpack straps are comfortable and padded, and I'll say the whole thing is really supportive for the amount of gear we had in it. For added support, the straps have chest and abdomen buckles, which also have little pockets for keys, chapstick, and other small personal items. Now, I think we're ready to go. Now that was an adventure. After using Nanook's bags, cases, and Encubit ecosystem, we're impressed with the functionality and easy organization that we could get out of the system. I loved being able to put all my gear in specific places, so there was no hassle in finding and setting everything up without wasting time. This system can be a lifesaver when packing and traveling and adds peace of mind with extra support and compartmentalization, so nothing is banging into each other when traveling over harsh terrains or while being jostled in a backpack. I will note, you're going to want to place the items in the internal organizers first, without any of the dividers, so you can find the best way to fit everything and then add the dividers around your equipment. Whether you're on the move or organizing your space, the Nooks and Cubic ecosystem transforms the way you interact with all your gear, down to the smallest accessory. So, how would you customize your camera bag with the NCubic system? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Erica with B&H. Stay creative out there. <laughs>